Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek, just doing a follow up to the uh, the Blue Eddy AC200 maps and just some of our findings. Um, we've got it connected right now to two of our 200 watt solar blankets for the most part. Good sun, a little bit of tiny bit of cloud coming in. Um, but yeah, to show you the readings that we have now. So we have just under 400 watts going in. Um, and I'm going to show you guys this here so in settings there's a dc input source a lot of people have commented on this we were not set to pv in the last video so we are set to pv now so it is working how it should uh, but i just wanted to show you that so with our two 200 watt solar bank blankets connected in series they were connected in series in our last video as well that's what we have for wattage going in which is quite good we actually saw just over 400 a moment ago if it shows on the screen i'll show you again um but for this time of day because we're you know what is today the the 18th the 19th of june almost 3 p.m so we're past where the sun is at its highest peak for where we are at 51 degrees north latitude but this is still really really good readings um and i do have just for the purposes of this video because we were at 100 percent so i connected the ice maker to the blue eddy ac 200 max just to draw down some power so i can connect it to solar so you guys could see but um yeah either way just like i said just laying flat on the ground there are two 200 watt solar blankets in series and it's producing really good power so some of the pros and cons i'm going to talk about um about the ac 200 max and i've got the ecoflow delta max right next to it um to, to me that's still my favorite one out of the two but it's for my specific purpose now everybody's not everybody's going to have the exact same purpose uh that i do um i think a lot of people will but not everybody will so i'll just kind of go over the pros and cons let you know my feedback on both of these and then you guys can decide you know what's going to be what can you find value in and what's going to be the best um solution for yourself so when i look at these two solar generators uh let's let's first talk about physical size so i'm just going to kind of go around here you can see there is quite a size physical size difference um even just the your dimensional wise here uh, and i've mentioned this to a lot of customers um, for me portable and deployable is the most important thing that's what i look at it's always been kind of the premise around our business um, and especially in these interesting times i'm finding it even more important more so so as an example um the, th the thing i really like about the delta max is its physical dimensions its physical size that either in the back of our toyota highlander here back of the forerunner basically any vehicle it fits right behind the driver's seat or the passenger seat so it fits in the back beautifully you've got a lot of space there it's not as easy you have to move the seat if you got to get up and go and put everything in your vehicle the delta max is going to fit in there a lot easier um the other thing i was going to mention as well too weight wise so this guy here the ecoflow delta max it is 48 pounds the uh blue eddy ac 200 max is 63 pounds i believe it is so it's a bit heavier uh not that's not going to be um not everybody's going to be able to lift those isn't it lifted as an example but um yeah so that that's kind of the difference in your weight your height or your dimensions i should say so just kind of look at the difference in height right here as well too and physical size um yeah i just i do prefer the delta max for those specific reasons the other reasons and i didn't bring it out i did talk about it in the last video is how well these charge so so far we're seeing similar charging from solar which is good so they're both very good that way so that's to me is the most important thing especially if we have rolling blackout situations or uh something along that lines the other thing i was going to mention real quick just waiting for the ice maker to do its thing that's actually just going in the dog water bowls to keep them, <laughs> them nice and cool today because it's pretty hot out but uh the other thing i was going to mention real quick is um they're both expandable so each of them you can add additional battery packs there's a difference of two the ac 200 max is 2048 watt hour the blue eddy uh the Blue Eddy uh, Max, or uh, sorry, not the Blue Eddy, the EcoFlow Delta Max, I mean to say, it's 2016 watt hour. So it's, they're not identical, but they're very close to being that. Each of them can have two portable battery packs. Um, 
the thing where I think the EcoFlow shines, or I believe the EcoFlow shines over the Blue Eddy based on our interesting times, based on getting ready for rolling blackouts. If you know when you're gonna have power from the wall, or let's say you're using a gas generator, um, but you don't wanna waste a bunch of fuel, the EcoFlow shines in this respect. It charges from the wall or a gas generator from zero to 100% in less than two hours. So that's phenomenal that it can do that. The Blue Eddy, uh, it takes a, a large power brick. I don't have it out here, but I had it in the last video. And that will power from the wall in, I believe it's five to six hours. I think the max I saw was about four, it was, it was between four and 500 watts going in. So about five to six hours. So that's a big difference if you have a rolling blackout situation and you're relying on your portable power station or your solar generator. You're relying on it to, let's say, get to your next location or relying on it to provide power to your fridge um, overnight, knowing when your rolling blackouts are. So to me, that's that's to me, that's going to be the most important thing. Um, but that's that's based on my scenario, on my way of thinking that might not be as important to everybody else. Where the Blue Eddy shines is it does have uh, greater uh, life cycles. So um, it, it does have that, but let's put it into perspective. Let's look at the lower life cycles of the EcoFlow Delta Max here. 800 life cycles. So definitely lower than the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. So 800 life cycles. Here's perspective for you. Let's say society gets really interesting and you got to rely on this 365 days out of the year. Well, you're still going to get 2.2 years out of the Delta Max before the battery degrades to 80%. So that's still really, really good. Now with the Blue Eddy, it's a bit more because I believe it's 3,500 life cycles. So you're gonna get closer to just under 10 years. So there's your trade-off. What's more important to you when you're looking at these two power stations? They're literally the same price. Um, they both charge very well from solar. So your trade-off is, do you want the greater life cycles, which then means you're, you've got a heavier weight, a bit bigger dimension wise of uh, uh of just the form factor of, of the unit um and it doesn't charge as quick from the wall so you know there, there there's there's kind of your trade-offs and then you have the ecoflow delta max here where it's lighter it's got a little bit better of a form factor for um you know getting up and moving and putting it in a vehicle either overlanding or let's say you got to get out of dodge or whatever um, it, it's, it shines that way and how quickly it charges, you'll save money on your gas generator. Um, if you're running it from, um, from that, um, if you have a rolling blackout situation, you can time it and you can be, uh, providing power more or a lot quicker. Cause I know in rolling blackouts, I know when I was in Africa, well, not that Africa is the best example, cause they always have rolling blackouts where we were in Tanzania. Um, yeah, they didn't get a lot of hours of power they only had a couple hours maybe three hours a day when it was happening um like who knows what's what's coming like we're in canada um our grid system is i'd say probably about the same age as what's in the u.s so whatever you folks are going to be experiencing down south we're going to have that as well too up here um just we have a yeah it, it is what it is with what's coming with that it's just we have an aging infrastructure uh, energy infrastructure for that Let's turn this back on. This one's a little bit lower for wattage going in, about 3.30. But um, to me, that's the pros and cons of both. Both are, are very good units. Um, like I know the, the Blue Eddy AC200 Max has these two wireless charging pads here on the top. Um, they're good. They're not important to me. Um, to me, I, I like, I like the, the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. Um, I like less electronics, less items to break down. Um, I do like on the screen here, now it's not gonna show because we're not connected to sol solar, but it does show your, 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 how many, you know, how much time is remaining on the, uh, the EcoFlow Delta, either for charging or for powering devices. I like that it has that there. I don't believe, I didn't see it on here. I don't believe that the AC200, the Blue Eddy, I don't believe it has that. Um, if somebody knows where that is in settings, let me know and then we'll find that. But, um, so it's, to me, the EcoFlow is a bit of a, a simpler system to use. Um, there is the RV plug here, 
which they do have on the, uh, what's the amperage on this guy? So it says it's 30 amp. I believe it's just below 30 amp. But um, if you do the math on it. But uh, so yeah, it does have that. So you have a, an RV plug, to be blunt. Would I ever plug our trailer into this? No, there's no point. This would run the AC unit for just over an hour, um, which then I would waste power for other devices I want to charge from it. Uh, and on that note, guys, I have a lot of people that ask when, they're, when we're putting together packages for them about simple things, um, you know, the people going through their learning curve. What all can they power from these power stations? And I just wanted to mention, I, we never recommend air conditioning. We never recommend space heaters because they're very, very power hungry. Um, same with microwaves. We would never recommend those. So always find alternatives if you're looking at providing heat or cooling uh, when using power stations. Uh, to those just just my my two cents on that but either way um, I will be putting on the website here shortly I've had a few requests for it packages with uh, one two three four possibly up to five solar blankets all of the cabling that'll work for the blue eddies and work for the uh, the eco flows so it'll include because they, they take the same cables so we can easily do that there'll be all of our solar blankets they'll be connected in series not parallel mm -hmm. so we can increase the voltage for that um so i'll definitely i'll provide that um i'm just trying to think if i've missed anything with it both are good products uh ourselves as a dealer i will say this really quick um at the end of the day both companies are chinese companies blue eddy and ecoflow neither of them because they're based out of they're not based in North America, even though they say they have offices there. Um, neither of them have perfect customer service, but the one that shines over the other is EcoFlow, I find, is does offer better customer service than Bluetti. And for us as a dealer, um, it's, it's yeah, it's quite frustrating dealing with Bluetti because at times it can take up to a week to get back to us. And so we're there's a very good chance we're going to be removing Bluetti from our website. We're going to be providing... Uh, the solar to charge Blue Eddy, but at the end of the day, it's just the ice maker going here again. At the end of the day, um, we, anything that we provide, we don't want uh, another supplier that we're working with to reflect badly on, you know, just with their customer service. So when we provide a product to customers, we, we don't want that to reflect badly uh, the customer service to our customers. It's, if that makes sense, it's just, we stand behind our product. We stand behind our customer service. Um, but at the end of the day, we just, we don't want to work with companies that, uh, have poor customer service and I hope they prove me wrong here in the near future, but so far it's, it's, they haven't been a joy to deal with. But other than that, guys, uh, definitely enjoy your day. I know we've got a break from the thunderstorms. I think we have more thunderstorms coming tomorrow morning, but yeah. So I'll put together some packages, throw them on the website, uh, on the website with, uh, different, um, combinations of solar blankets be with one two three four of our 200 watt solar blankets same with the 215s um, for charging either the ecoflow products the delta products or the blue eddy products so we have those and we'll make sure there's a bit of a discount in there for you folks as well too but yeah enjoy your day guys that's our view i'm just out at the trailer enjoying some relax relaxation and uh even though i'm still working <laughs> doing the video <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'm not in the city, so that's good. Okay, enjoy your day, guys. We will talk to you soon, and then I'll get this posted. Um, and like I said, oh, and the other thing, I'll, I'll just mention this real quick too. Um, regarding the settings and then switching over to PV mode. Okay, back to that premise. I, I forgot to mention this earlier. Back to that, what I was saying earlier about KISS, keep it simple, stupid. That's kind of our way of thinking for everything here. Uh, just to simplify a lot of users, when they receive the Blue Eddy products, if that's how they normally ship them and you actually got to go search online or wait for them to return an email and sometimes wait days for them to return an email so you can use your product just to know how to switch over a setting. Um, I get it. Some people might geek out and really like having all these extra settings, but to me, that's, again, kind of, it doesn't make sense. Like when they ship from the factory, they should be ready to power from solar because that's why people are buying these. Um, but yeah, it's, or even just have a more simple interface where you don't have to go back and forth. 
I know EcoFlow doesn't have that specific interface on, on this Delta Max here, and I don't believe it does on the Delta Pro either. But anyway, just, just kind of my two cents, guys. Okay, enjoy your day, and we will post this, and we'll talk to you soon. And uh, thank you, everybody, for putting in the comments for the last video about the PV setting. Um, I, I was pretty confident it was just a setting, but it was just odd that three of them in a row all had the exact same thing. Okay, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye then.